Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving Hubble's law. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that a distant galaxy is a distance of 25 million light years away from Earth. Use Hubble's law to determine the velocity of the galaxy relative to the Earth. Well, notice in the question, first of all, that we're given a distance in light years. So in order to get this into something we can use in calculations, we need to first find how many meters are in one light year. So in order to do this, we can use speed distance time to find the distance where our speed is the speed of light and our time is how many seconds make up one year. So we're trying to find the distance. We know the speed V is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second for the light. And to find how many seconds are in one year for the time, we do 360. 65 times 24 times 60 times 60 because that's how many days are in a year that's how many hours are in a day that's how many minutes are in an hour and that's how many seconds are in a minute so if you put this into your calculator you should get around 3.1536 times 10 to the 7 seconds notice that i've not rounded my answer here because that's important for the value of one light year that we're going to get out so writing down our equation we have d equals vt and then substituting in our numbers, we get 3 times 10 to the 8 times 3.1536 times 10 to the 7. And if you keep that in there with all the decimal places, you should get an answer of 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. Alternatively, you could just remember that one light year is equal to 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters, if it's easier for you to do that. And now we want to find out how many meters are in 25 million light years. So all we need to do is simply take our answer for one light year and times it by 25 million. So we have 25 million light years is equal to 25 times 10 to the 6 times 9.46 times 10 to the 15. If you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 2.37 times 10 to the 23 meters. Now we're good to go and use our distance in Hubble's law to determine the velocity of the galaxy relative to the Earth. So lastly, calculate the recessional velocity. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find V. We know that Hubble's constant H0 is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18 per second. That's on the data sheet, remember, that you'll get in the exam. And the distance D is 2.37 times 10 to the 23 meters, which we've just worked out. So writing down our equation for Hubble's law, we have V equals H0 D. And substituting in our numbers, we get 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18 times 2.37 times 10 to the 23. If you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 5.4 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. Now, a good check for this recessional velocity is that it cannot be greater than 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, since remember, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Question 2 says that the redshift for a distant galaxy shows that it's moving away at 2.1 times 10 to the 7 meters per second relative to the Earth. Part A says to calculate the distance between Earth and the galaxy. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find D. We know the recessional velocity V is 2.1 times 10 to the 7 meters per second, and Hubble's constant is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18 per second. So writing down Hubble's law, we have V equals H0 times D. Rearranging for D this time, we can divide both sides by H0 to get D equals V over H0. And substituting in the numbers now, we get 2.1 times 10 to the 7 over 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18. Putting that into your calculator now should give you an answer of 9.1 times 10 to the 24 meters. So we're talking about really big distances here. Part B then says to state this distance in light years. Well, remember from question 1, 1 light year is equal to 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. If you can't remember that, then you can calculate it yourself using speed distance time with the speed of light and the number of seconds in one year for the time. And in order to get a distance in light years, we're looking for a smaller number. So we're going to expect to do a division here to get a smaller number. So we have our distance here and we're going to divide it by the distance for one light year. So we do 9.1 times 10 to the 24 over 9.46 times 10 to the 15, which equals 9.6 times 10 to the 8 light years if you put it into your calculator. Part C then says if the galaxy was moving towards the Earth rather than away from it, what would this be called? Well, remember a galaxy moving away from the Earth is called redshift, so the opposite is called blue shift. So a galaxy moving towards the Earth is called blue shift. Lastly, question 3 says that the recessional velocity of a distant galaxy is 1.2 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. Part A says to show that the approximate distance to this galaxy is 5.2 times 10 to the 24 meters. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find D. We know the recessional velocity V is 1.2 times 10 to the 7 meters per second, and Hubble's constant H0 is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18 per second. So writing down Hubble's law, we get V equals H0 D. Rearranging for D, remember we can divide both sides by H0 to get D equals V over H0, and substituting in the numbers gives 1.2 times 10 to the 7 divided by 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18, 
If you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 5.2 times 10 to the 24 meters. So by using Hubble's law, we've shown this to be true. Part B then says, what is this distance in light years? Well, just like we did in question two, remember that one light year is equal to 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. And if you didn't know that, you can calculate it using speed distance time. And then remember to get light years, we need to do a division to get a smaller number because going from meters to light years will give us a smaller number as opposed to going from light years to meters, which would give us a bigger number. So taking our distance and dividing it by the distance for one light year, we have 5.2 times 10 to the 24, over 9.46 times 10 to the 15, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 5.5 times 10 to the 8 light years. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.